Hello, my basket designers and friends. Welcome back. I'm Angie, and welcome back to Everything in the Basket. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's so nice to have you here. And thank you guys for clicking on this video. Today, guys, I have a concept for you guys using um these cute little socks from the Dollar Tree. I guess they're funny socks or character socks. <laughs> So I'll be using them. I have two different concepts that I'll be using. One, I'll be using this clear bag. And the other one, this little box. So I guess I'll do the clear bag one first, maybe. And I'll be using the Reese's. And these socks are, that I'll be using, I um, paired them up with an item that matches them. And I have quite a few more socks also. But I don't have anything to pair them with yet so when I find something I'll be making those but I don't know if I'll be including those in a video or not and I always have my little tag off and I keep this little tab this little black tab a little hanger A piece of thread hanging from there <laughs> and I go in and hang it on this little um, hook just hanging on there it makes it easy to hang it in this bag and these socks are so cute Some of them I've been like going from store to store to trying to find them. <laughs> and I've already cut my little um piece to put at the bottom. Find my glue dots. And this one I'm gonna put um since it's Reese's, I have this AirPod Pro case. I found this at Hobby Lobby. So I'll be putting that in there. I'm gonna put some glue dots to help hold that down. I have a love-hate relationship with these new glue dots that I have. <laughs> and for my socks, I just put it in. And this little tab makes it easy to hang. You'll just get a piece of tape and put across. So keep those little tabs, guys. And this is it for the first concept. Now I just get some shred and put in, which I'll probably use maybe brown and orange.
And last year when I did this concept with these socks, I used um, food items. I paired the socks with food items. The only thing about that is if you don't sell, sell them, um, sometimes the food expire, <laughs> has expired before you can sell the item. So you have to like go buy more food products. So this time I decided to use non-food products, non-food items, to pair it with non-food items. <laughs> so if I don't sell it at this event, I can roll it over to the next event or the next event. I don't have to worry about expired food. <laughs> Just lift it up so Some of these items I lucked out and found some nice items to pair it with. <laughs> and some of them I'm still looking. <laughs> A stick that's made for stuff like this doing things like this but I don't know where is it right now <laughs> I have so many, so many craft items <laughs> I used to use that for um when I crochet the um put push the um the stuffing down in the items I like what make my dolls too to push the stuffing down in I don't know where it's at right now. <laughs> so this is Nick's best thing. You get stuff up in the corners and stuff. Okay, guys, this is it. First item down. Already made my little bow. I probably should have used some yellow shred in here also since I have yellow, but I think this is good enough. Some of them I use like more than one, two colors. I could have added maybe like yellow in. Okay, this is the first concept. What do you guys think of this?
I'm going to cut these a little bit shorter. Like that, because I'm looking at the other ones, they're a little bit shorter. <laughs> well, some of them. Okay. That's that concept. Now I'm going to do the box. I have Kool Aid for the one that I'm putting in the box. And I found this Kool Aid gum, guys. <laughs> and I always write the expiration date down on my items as I make them so I'll know without taking the item apart what the expiration date is which is a good idea if you use food items guys um when you put them in your basket write down the expiration date because I didn't do that when I first started out making baskets and guess what <laughs> I had to like open it up and take the item out to see what the expiration date was so Never again. And look at this. It has like um three different flavors. Um Tropica Punch. Well, it's actually three different, yeah, three different flavors. Tropica Punch, Sherry, and Grape. And I should have got another um pack to try it out. <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> I wanted to taste like Kool-Aid. I thought this was a good item to pair with this Kool-Aid. At first I was thinking about getting a pack of Kool-Aid, but then I saw the gum. And so, I so thought that's a good idea, the gum. <laughs> I was glad that I found that. I found it in Dollar Tree and they only had maybe like, I think like four packs. I've never seen it before. Let me know if you guys have seen it in your Dollar Tree before. I think the Lord was just looking out for me that day. <laughs> and just place it in my eyesight. And it was up at the cash register too. <laughs> I just put like a little tape. I ran out of my um double-sided tape. So I'm using some tape. To kind of hold this in place a little bit. I'm going to put my pack of gum in. And I'll probably just tape that down. I always use some double sided tape too to help hold my shred down. Guess I have to get someone and go out. <laughs> And these fun socks were um, a big hit too last year at my events. <laughs> I actually sold out of those too. Had one person to come and buy maybe like 10 pairs. <laughs> What do you guys pair with yours? Or you just use them by themselves? Comment down below and let me know, guys. Okay, I think I'm going to use some red and blue red in this one. I don't have any, like, dark blue red, so I'm going to use... Mix a little bit of this red and blue.
Ma used to make um a cake. And it was so good, guys. She used to take like the white ice that you buy. And the white frosting. And um she would mix Kool-Aid in it. <laughs> and put it on the cake when I was growing up. It used to be so good. But back then, they really didn't have a whole bunch of flavors of ice. And maybe they had like... I don't even know if they had strawberry or lemon back then when I was growing up. I know they had chocolate and maybe chocolate and the white icing. I need to mix a little bit more, guys. But she used to take that white icing and then put that Kool-Aid in it. It used to taste so good. <laughs> I'll have to try it again one day, man. <laughs> I was telling my husband about it one day. Have you guys ever tried that before with the Kool-Aid and the icing? I guess you could buy any kind of um, flavor Kool-Aid you want and just put it in the white icing. I can't remember what um, flavor she used, but it was so good. <laughs> but I know a lot of people use, um, one of my friends, she makes like, um, like a pie with the Kool-Aid. You get the um, Cool Whip and you put like um, Kool-Aid in the flavor you want and use the pie crust, the graham cracker pie crust. And that tastes good too. I think she uses like lemon. Tastes like a lemon pie. Okay guys, this is the concept with the Kool-Aid. I know most of us, us grow, grew up with Kool-Aid. <laughs> Kool-Aid been around for a long time. <laughs> it was around when I was growing up, my kids. <laughs> and it's still around. <laughs> This is the layer to the spot. She's just folded down on the, the little seams. And I got these boxes from Amazon. I think Timu has them also. I just got mine from Amazon because I didn't have time to wait for Timu. <laughs> but usually when I order items from Timu, I will get them like in a week and a half. So it doesn't take very long. But still, Amazon is quicker. <laughs> but if you can wait... This is it, guys. Well, sometimes when you put this in, the items move around a little bit to shift on you. Okay, now I'm gonna put my little tabs on this side. I showed you guys these tabs too. They was in another video that I done. Get these from the Dollar Tree. Sometimes they're hard to see on here. <laughs> they're so clear and plus my eyesight is not a hundred percent and this is the kool-aid and i already have my ribbon cut so i've been putting like white ribbon on there
to save time for the video, I already pre-prepped some of my items, like my ribbon and everything, to save time. Because I don't want my videos to be too long. Here's the Kool-Aid concept. I'm cut my ribbon a little bit. Okay, guys. I'll show you the bag concepts first. Move some of this stuff out of the way. This is the Reese's. And I did a Jolly Rancher with the um, lip chapstick, Jolly Rancher step chapstick, and the um, bath scrub, body scrub. And I have a Fruit Loop. Fruit Loop has a um, mask in there and the chapstick also. And I have a Sour Patch. The Sour Patch has the chapstick and it has the um, body scrub. And I have the Twinkie, the Hostess Twinkie. And I have the Twinkie drink and I found the Twinkie popcorn. <laughs> And the Dollar Tree, and I wonder how the popcorn tastes. I should have gotten another bag, but I didn't. But when I go back, I'm going to get me another bag and see how it tastes. <laughs> so those are the bag concepts that I have. And these, I ended up putting these in a the bag because um, I couldn't get them in the box. So they end up being the bag concept. And this is the box concept. The Kool-Aid, the one I just did. I have Dr. Pepper. I have um, Monopoly. I put some dice in there. I was trying to think of what you could use with a um, Monopoly game. And they throw dice in the Monopoly game. So I thought Monopoly would go good. And the Crush, Grape Crush. I found these little masks at the Dollar Tree also. And Doritos. The Cool Wrench Doritos. And this is a little eraser. Because I know um, parents be buying these for their kids. Because I had a parent last year to buy quite a few for her kids. So that's why I put some with like items like erasers and stuff like that. And this one has Doritos have like the little notepad. And this Orange Crush has the little mask. Those are the funny sock concept concepts. Let me know what you guys think of those. And here's a little concept of the little socks for a little um, girl, preteen. Um, these are the little socks. Remember the socks? <laughs> I had a pair. I had quite a few when I was a teenager growing up. They fit on your toes. You stick your toe in each of the each of the little slots, <laughs> and they have the little mittens also, and the top folds down fold over your hands so you can um it'll cover your fingers or else you can wear it fingerless i mean yeah where it won't cover your fingers your fingers will be out and you flip the little other part down if you want to cover your fingers but i thought this was so cute for a little girl or preteen <laughs> or even a teenager but i don't know if they'll fit a teenager unless a teenager has a smaller hand probably like a a little kid with the frog and I found this one also with the little dog on here. And I thought this was really cute. And I hope you guys enjoyed this concept. Easy, inexpensive concept. Grab and go for a holiday vendor event. And thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment. And I'll see you on the next one. Keep on creating, guys. Bye.